Who's more valuable to their team? Is it Patrick, or would you say Josh Allen? Patrick Mahomes. And I think it's easily Patrick Mahomes. Respect to Josh Allen, who's been superb most of the season. He had a little hiccup maybe in two, a third of the way into the season, but otherwise has been superb, and including in the playoffs, has led his teams to wins. Mm -hmm. But right now, who's playing better defense, the Chiefs or the Bills? Like, who do, mm -hmm. Can you imagine the Bills surviving a bad day, game with, from Josh Allen? Because I can. Can you imagine the Chiefs surviving a bad game from Patrick Mahomes? No. No. And, and is it linked to his weapons when you have Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill and when you have Andy Reid as the head coach, a quarterback whisperer like that? Is that all tied to his success? Of course it is. But he's got to deliver the goods. Respect to Chad Henney and what he did at the end of that game and the play call of Andy Reid. Do any of us believe had Chad Henney started that game, they would have won? I don't. You think they would have won with Chad Henney against Cleveland? I don't. And I don't think they would win against Buffalo. But the way Buffalo's been playing defense, look what they just did to the Ravens, to the Ravens' run game. The way they're playing defense, Josh Allen could have a nice, solid game and they could win. We all know the Chiefs can't have a nice, solid game from Patrick Mahomes. They need him to be Superman. I believe you're wrong. I believe you're wrong, however, because philosophically, you and I have never been on the same page with this matter. Like, for example, you know, years ago when CP3 got injured, and you felt like that cost Houston the trip to the finals. I felt like Golden State, KD, Steph, Clay, they would have found a way no matter what. It's similar here. I'm thinking Kansas City would have found a way with Tyreek Hill, with Travis Kelsey, with Williams in the backfield, with, with uh, uh, Le'Veon Bell, with, with, with the weapons that they have available, McCole Hartman and others, with Andy Reid and Eric Enemy, They would have figured out a way. That's my belief. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I look at the multitude of weapons that they have available to them, and I say, excuse me, there's so much talent on Kansas City, even on the defensive side of the ball led by the Honey Badger. There's so much talent on that squad and veteran leadership as well. You have a situation where they could have potentially found a way against a team that really hadn't been relevant in postseason play for over a decade. Well, that's how I'm looking at Cleveland. In the case of the Buffalo Bills, first of all, Stephon Diggs arrives. Josh Allen, we see what he can do. They've been out of the picture for quite a long time. Bill's Mafia, I don't know why they got a Mafia. What the hell have they done to call themselves Bill? Uh, that's fan base they're, sports they're right legit, now. Stephen no, 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 no. You see that giving the, the, the Lamar Jackson I'm out. charity the money? I'm not questioning the legitimacy of the fans. I'm questioning the legitimacy of their argument about the Bills. In other words, the Bills have just become yeah. relevant in our eyes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the fans. Any team that lives in that city, with that weather... And you support them like that? Oh, they, 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 they're Have moss. you seen them? There's they no break tables? There's something, they're there's wild. There's something and they're special. always, they there's something always special. support the, the Bills. The Bills yeah. fans are something special. I'm not talking about it. I'm just saying that their team just started giving them something right. to cheer about. Yeah. I'm looking at Allen. With a Stephon Diggs, and I'm like, it's all you've got. I'm not to say, it's not to say they don't have talent on mm -hmm. the defensive side of the ball, particularly with that secondary. I get all of that. But without Josh Allen, you don't have a snowball's chance in hell. You don't have it. Okay, without Patrick Mahomes, you still got a chance because of the talent Kansas City has. That's how I'm looking at it. So I'm saying from a, from a philosophical standpoint, I look at Josh Allen as being more valuable to his team right now than Patrick Mahomes because, to me, him and Stephon Diggs are it. Whereas with Patrick Mahomes, that's not the case Wait, So your So argument, your argument is that because Josh Allen – and Stefan Diggs have this thing going on no, right no, no, now. No, no, no. You need the two of no, them. No, no, I'm saying that's it for them. I'm saying with Kansas City, I can look at a multitude of so things. So Chad Henney with, has enough different options that even yes, Chad Henney could beat right. could beat the Buffalo Bills. No, no, I'm so no no. The question is who's more valuable to their team right now? Mahomes, the kid Mahomes or Allen to their team. Okay, I'm not and I'm saying Allen is I'm more valuable to the team. I'm not gonna dispute the chemistry between Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs right now. It's <laughs> obvious. Yeah. But I will say this. I don't know that Stefan Diggs couldn't do that with a lot of quarterbacks right now. This dude is playing with as much or more confidence as any player in the NFL who's left playing right now. Mm -hmm. And in fact, who's the best receiver even left in the playoffs? And I love Tyreek Hill, but in terms of the way Diggs is playing right Max, now, it's probably him. Max, I'm not knocking a brother because he could play, and I guess I'm taking a, a slight shot at him mm -hmm. because he's a former Cowboy. But your second leading receiver on the team is Cole Beasley. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, they he can play. No, I'm saying, he, he, can, he can play. He can play. But they don't have the weapons Kansas City but has. That's the point. But Kansas I, City is built to exploit those weapons. This, Buffalo, like, they're going to beat you in a shootout. I'm, I'm saying without, without Buffalo could win a defensive game. Most va more valuable without Josh Allen. They, I mean, my God, they have no chance. With a Chad Henney, 
Kansas City would still have a chance against anybody because of the weapons around them. This is my position That's on Patrick saying. Mahomes, and it has Anyone been in the AFC. With, with the Chiefs since before the season started. If the question is football to me right now, the answer is Patrick Mahomes. Quarterback play, the answer is Patrick Mahomes. Who's the most valuable? Mahomes. Who's, who do you want most? Mahomes. All the, it's Mahomes. I just think he's... I, Aaron Rodgers is close. Mm -hmm. And I've never said otherwise if he's in his prime, and it looks like he still is. Right, right. Just didn't look last year. But Mahomes, to me is the reason why you look at the Chiefs and you think they're going to win the Super well, listen, Bowl. You will replace him with anyone else. You go, I don't know. They're in the mix. Without Josh Allen, I don't think the Chiefs, the Bills would even be in the playoffs, A. And B, I would remind you, we are having conversations about Tyreek Hill being the best receiver in football. Yeah. And we are having conversations about Travis Kelsey already being a Hall of Famer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.